guys, Lynette Zhang, Chief Market Analyst here at ITM Trading, a full service physical precious metals brokerage house. Well, anybody that's been watching has seen that the Dow is now over 21,000 at the fastest pace in history. It went from 20,000 to over 21, 24 days. The next second fastest pace was how long it took to get to 20,000. So, isn't that a wonderful thing? Well, the insiders certainly think so. This last week's Dow or, or buy insider buy sell ratio is for every one dollar in stock that they bought, they sold what's that say? One hundred and sixteen dollars worth of stock. So we see what the insiders are doing with a nice high stock market. Why? Well, we've talked about this, but I'm going to remind you over and over again, okay? The markets are making new highs, but the corporate earnings are doing just the opposite. So you can see from this particular graph, which goes all the way back to 1890. 60. 60? Okay, 18, sorry. 60. It's upside down for me. But you can see on the end there that we are higher than we've ever been other than 2000 and also 1929. So they're going on the greater fool theory, meaning somebody even dumber is willing to pay even more for a stock. That's the greater fool theory. Because we cannot forget that there are still a lot of negative yields around. That means that you are actually paying somebody to loan them money. This is insanity. You must believe it when you see it. But what I also wanted to warn you about is that there are two big events that are coming up on March 15th. Now, whether or not it's going to have an impact, number one is that we're going to reach the debt ceiling. So we are now at $20 trillion in debt. Okay, That means that they're going to have to vote to raise that debt ceiling. Will they do it? We'll see. David Stockman, who was the budget director under, uh, let's see, uh, yep, under Reagan, thinks that they will not have the ability to do it. He does think that President Trump can do some executive orders, so we'll have to see. But he thinks that's going to be a very hard stop. And he actually even thinks that will cause a government shutdown. He says that we have enough cash to last us until the summer. So that's number one. And then number two, and that could certainly have impact on the stock market. Number two are the Federal Reserve's, the central bank, our central bank, anticipating raising the interest rates, which means that it costs more to borrow against all of this debt. Okay. Now, Typically, and actually, the reason why they want to raise the interest rates is so they can lower them in the next crisis. So they have to get those interest rates to roughly, or what they anticipate, three and a quarter percent, because that's how much they anticipate lowering them to be able to stimulate the economy. The interesting thing is, is they lowered them a whole lot more than that from 2008, and yet the economy is not really being stimulated. So I want you to keep these things in mind because those two events happen on or may happen on March 15th. Well, we definitely will, will hit the debt ceiling. It's whether or not they will raise that debt ceiling. I think that they are. It, it is looking more and more like the Federal Reserve is going to raise those interest rates also on March 15th. And if it costs more to borrow, since that's how they're pushing a lot of things is via more debt, that too could create some challenges for this severely, ridiculously overvalued and very, very vulnerable market. So that's it for today. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll let you know when we're doing the live events. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. And you be safe out there. Make sure you give us a call at 888-696-4653. Bye.